So I'm going to give a short overview to AVR and SAM hardware tools and debuggers. We're going to talk about the debugging platform and user interface, uh, the explained development kit platform. Uh, we're going to talk about in-circuit debuggers, namely the AppMail ICE and Power Debugger. We're going to introduce the data visualizer, which is a user interface for our debugging platform. And this is used to visualize data and give insight to the application, as well as analyzing and correlating power consumption to code. So let's first start by introducing the explained building blocks. So in the explained platform, all of these kits are USB powered and recognized by Studio. In addition, they also all include embedded debuggers to run step break and visualize the code. The kits as well tend to be modular building blocks which combine with extension shields and clicks. The Mini is Arduino compatible while the Pro supports extension and clickboard adapters. Looking at the overview of this development kit platform, you can see the Mini embedder debugger is on the Nano and the Mini and the embedded debugger platform is both for the Pro and Ultra but also the same functionality is available in the standalone debuggers, the AppMail ICE and the Power Debugger. All these debugging platforms communicate over SimSys DAP to the IDE, AppMail Studio, but this also supports IR and ImageCraft as third-party IDEs. If we're looking at the data visualizer, the Mini Embedded Debugger series supports a virtual COM port, Whereas in addition to that, you get a data gateway interface with the x Pro Ultra as well as the standalone debuggers. In terms of the Atmel ICE, the Atmel ICE is a standalone debugger for all AVR and SAM devices and all non-high voltage AVR and SAM programming and debug interfaces are supported. There are three different editions, PCB only, basic with common cables and a complete with all cables and adapters. The standard SimSys DAP debugger, and so it works with any front end supporting SimSys DAP, and there's a published communication protocol. The power debugger has a number of major use cases to supply and measure power of the application, separately measure MCU and solution power, measure the power of a USB application, as well as visualize and correlate application data. I'm going to take you through some of these. To emphasize that this has the same program and debug capability in, as well as the Atmel ICE, but also gives the ability to analyze and correlate power consumption to code. So the way it does that is it gets DGI application data from the application. Um, we're going to show you some examples there. Um, here we have the AVR and SAM debug headers. We have a target supply voltage. You can power your application. And then there's two current measurement channels. Here you can see channel A is 100, up to 100 milliamps, and channel B is a high current channel of up to 1 amp. You can also power a USB target. So if we have a target, such as this board here, which looks like an explained mini, we can see that we can make some connections to measure the board's power consumption. We can still have a debug connection through to Atmel Studio, for example, or a third-party IDE. And we can also have some GPIO instrumentation. For example, if we use the DGI GPIO, we can, in this case, we are instrumenting the code to add markers for our power consumption. And so in this case, we are ensuring that we toggle the DGI GPIO along with the switch pressed and you can see that this correlates with the power consumption of the MCU waking up. In this example here, I'm showing a serial correlation because I'm using an ADC result put on the COM port, and you can see that the current spikes associated with, with every um, UR transmission of an ADC sample. And finally here, I'm showing how the correlation of program counter flow and power consumption. So double clicking a sample will open the editor and highlight corresponding line of code. So from the microchip website under design support and development tools, I can see software tools for AVR and SAM. And here I will see a homepage of the data visualizer and 
the starter visualizer I can have a standalone version or I can download an extension to Atmel Studio. Um, in terms of the hardware kits I can see a debuggers page and here I can find the Atmel ICE as well as the power debugger. In the next video we'll do some more practical demonstration of some of the data visualizer features using the power debugger as well to understand the application.